Hey, it's Ryan with s &B. We're gonna be showing you how to install our uh, 6.4 power stroke intake today. Once you've received your intake, it's gonna come with this card in the box. It's gonna have a QR code as well as a link. So just point your phone at this. Uh, that'll bring up the written instructions and the installing video, or you can go to this link as well. So if you wanna follow the written instructions and this video together, uh, you can print those out or just watch the video. So we're gonna jump right into this. Uh, we're gonna be starting off with the eight millimeter here on the battery terminals on both sides and disconnect the negatives. That loosened up, pop that terminal off, tuck it to the side. We're gonna move over to the passenger side, the same thing. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the MAF connector. So to do so, slide the red locking tab back. There's a black tab right in front of that. Press down here, remove the sensor. While we're here, we're also gonna go ahead and grab the plug for the filter minder. And that's just to pull up and pull out. We're gonna remove the autocur clamp on the breather here. And you can pry this open or just cut them, um, faster to cut them and with that cut. That's gonna come right off there. We'll move on to the next step. A lot of trucks will still have the zip tie intact. You can see this one's broken. Um, so we'll cut that zip tie so that this breather is free. We're gonna go ahead and loosen the hose clamp at the turbo now. Just use a uh, 5 16 or eight millimeter nut driver or a flathead screwdriver. Everything's free now, so we can go ahead and pop the tube off the turbo on this side, like so. And then the box is just gonna lift up to unseat, like that. And then we'll twist the tube and lift the box out of the truck. We want to be make sure that uh, all three of the rubber airbox grommets stayed in the mounting bracket. Got everything unboxed here. Uh, first step is going to be we take our molded tube seal. We're going to insert that in the box with the uh, text facing inwards. Next up, uh, we provide a box plug, which installs right here. So this is an optional box plug. It really depends on uh, what climate you're in and your driving conditions. People in really hot climates, we really recommend uh, installing the box plug. It's gonna make sure it only grabs cold air out of the scoop. But if you're in a colder climate, um, you can leave this out and this sits right against the fender and it's just gonna allow for maximum airflow. Um, so once that's done, depending on how you're gonna set it up, we can now start setting up our intake tube here. So, the first step is going to be to transfer over the mass airflow sensor. So we're going to use a uh, Torx 15 or 20, this one's a 15, and remove the MAF from the factory airbox. Next, we're going to install the sensor into our spacer block here. And this has an arrow that's gonna match the arrow on the MAF sensor. So there you can see the arrow on the MAF sensor and the arrow there. And we'll install our rubber. And that's upside down. So make sure that the holes line up and that it's square, it is directional. And then we're gonna put these in the intake tube and again, make sure all of our arrows point towards the engine. I had that backwards. Now we're gonna use the two provided Phillips screws. Get those started. Ah. There we go. I just tighten this down to compress the gasket. It's not crazy tight, but uh, there's no need to go, you know, make sure it's not loose either. With that done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and install our 
filter minder block off grommet. Um, the airflow with the SMB kit and where the filter minder is in the kit is uh, slightly different than the factory kit, so it won't work. But we do have a clear lid, which makes it super easy to inspect your air filter um, and gets rid of the importance of the, the air filter minder. So this is just gonna get pushed in. I'll just take a flat head and get this seated. Next, we're gonna get our coupler onto our intake tube here, ready to install on the truck. And so to do so, put the bigger hose clamp on the bigger side, the smaller hose clamp on the smaller side, slide this on, and then I'm gonna get this one tightened down with our flathead or nut driver on the intake side, and we'll leave this loose um, so it's on the turbo in the truck. I've got them so they're pointed upwards on this side uh, once they're installed. Next, we're gonna go ahead and push our tube into our filter. I mean, our tube into our airbox, and then we're gonna take this over the truck and get it seated in the truck. And so we're gonna be watch the scoop here while we do this all. And I see the scoop's good. So I can go ahead and seat my airbox into the grommets and then work the intake tube into place. It's kind of our last step. Now it's on the turbo. Those clamps on. And the air box is clicked in and the scoop seated. So we're good to continue on. If you can't get that air box to seat all the way, you can remove the tube and then stick your hand underneath and feel that front prong in the grommet right here. And then sometimes it'll require shoving the air box more into the uh, fender liner and then it'll seat all the way. And when it's seated, there should be a good gap all the way around the back here and it'll feel firm in the truck. So that's completely seated now. We'll press our intake tube back in. It's gonna unseat, but now I know it's good to go. And then back on the turbo. We're going to slide our two small hose clamps on our molded hose here. Press that on to the intake tube, to the breather. Now we're going to tighten our hose clamps on the breather hose. Next, I'm going to tighten the hose clamp at the turbo, and I'm just pushing on the intake tube a little bit, make sure it's flush to the turbo. And then make sure we're snug on our one at the intake tube here. So uh, try to get the biggest filter possible in here for maximum airflow. Um, so it's a little bit of a snug fit going in. The best way to do this is just push down and the pleats will be protected by the silicone that actually makes contact with the plastic and it drops right in. Then you can grab your hose clamp, put that around the filter base and go on to the intake tube. And coming out will be the exact same process. You'll want to just come up straight out and it helps if your box plug is not installed. Um, so if you need an extra hand on the filter, you can pop your box plug out from the outside and then if you need to remove your filter to clean it, it's just the same process. So right out the top. So we're good now. Um, we're gonna get this slipped onto the intake tube and then we can go ahead and grab our hose clamp. Next, we're gonna install our clear lid. Make sure we peel our protective plastic off front and the back here. And then this gets installed into the lid seal. And with that installed, we can press the lid seal into the airbox. 
I like to go to the smaller side first. Get that under. And then work my way around the snap. Remove the filter minder from the factory intake tube by just pulling it out. That pushes into the block off grommet. Reset that. Go ahead and reconnect our electrical there. And angle this so the electrical is not tight. And then plug our MAF sensor back in. Slide our locking clip up, make sure that's snug. And then we're going to be ready to reconnect our batteries. We got everything reconnected, batteries tightened up, uh, install is good to go. If you have any issues or questions during the install, give us a call at 909-947-0015 or shoot us an email, customer service at SB Filters. Um, but thanks for following along. Uh, we're gonna keep going today and knock out a quick boot kit install on this 6.4 here. Uh, we offer a complete replacement kit, hot and cold side for the uh, intercooler boots. Um, but yeah, thanks for your time and uh, let us know if you have any questions.